Yo, what's going on? It's D-May, you already know. I'm bringing to you some NBA 2K15 blacktop gameplay, but I want to talk about my first impressions about NBA 2K15. Now, I don't want to say too much because a lot of people are going to get it on Tuesday, and I want some people to be surprised. You know, I don't want to spoil everything. I really don't want to spoil anything, but a lot of people have been asking me about the game. What do I think of it? Is this in the game? Is that in the game? So I'll go over a few of these points in the video. And in this video, I just did Zach Levine and Andrew Wiggins versus Jabari Parker and Julius Randle. Just to have a little rookie fun, I guess. So let me just talk about a few things people have been asking me. Sock length, I haven't seen a way to change it. Shoes, a lot of people care about the shoes. They have shoes added. I know some people are nitpicking about the materials they use on the shoes. I'm not sure why, but you know, it is what it is. Just know that they have a lot more shoes. Tattoos, a lot of people have been asking about the tattoos and you still can't have sleeves, which is kind of depressing, but it's all good. You know, I don't really use tattoos on my mob player and they really just have the same tattoos from 2K14. And of course, we all know about the hairstyles. Like right now, I'm not sure if they're gonna patch it, but they don't have any real hairstyles that I can use. You know, I just want like a Caesar, maybe a taper fade, you know, a haircut down to like a one and a half with the waves, but they don't have any of that. But this is stuff we already knew about. So let me talk about the gameplay because that's what I'm really interested in. And when I talk about the gameplay, this is only, you know, my career mode or me going against the CPU. I haven't played online yet because I know somebody would probably ruin the experience. There's probably some cheese going around and I don't want to complain about player behavior just yet. I want to talk about the gameplay. Now I will say this. I only played about 15 hours of NBA 2K15 so far. I got it on Saturday and so far I'm loving NBA 2K15. The gameplay is way better than NBA 2K14 in my opinion. Now this is a first impressions video so later down the line, you know, if I change my mind, you know, it is what it is. But this is just my first impressions. So let's talk about, I guess we'll start with rebounding because that's the first thing I noticed. You should have seen how excited I was when I got my first rebound. I was like, yo, that was actually right. Like I caught the ball when I pressed triangle or on X spots, it would be Y. But the rebounding, way better than NBA 2K14. Now is the rebounding perfect? No, it's not perfect. There are a few instances where it was just like, what in the world just happened right there? But it doesn't happen as much as NBA 2K14. Like. It only happened around probably one or two times since I've been playing 2K15. And like I said before, I know I have about 15 hours on this game already. So rebounding, expect that to be better. So now I want to talk about just kind of the feel of NBA 2K15. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to make sense, but just try to imagine this, you know. NBA 2K15, it feels kind of heavier than NBA 2K14. But at the same time, it's not sluggish. It's not slow. You know, it's heavier. There's more weight, you know, when it comes to the players or even just the basketball there's definitely more weight but everything is still crisp you know the dribbling is still crisp but at the same time you're not going to be flying around the court like you were on NBA 2k14 there's less sliding going on and speaking of sliding I know a few people want to know about the dunking so I have seen a few posters and I've seen people getting put in a dunk animation but wait they didn't slide into the dunk animation that's the big difference Dunking on NBA 2K15, it seems legit. Like I said before, first impressions, only 15 hours. But the posters I've seen, you know, that was under the basket and they were waiting to get dunked on. You know, they didn't slide from across the paint to get dunked on. So that's a really good thing. And to be honest, there's not a lot of dunking going on in NBA 2K15, not in regular games at least, because when you get into that paint, there's so much contact. And that's not a bad thing. I mean, this contact is legitimate. You know, they bump you from the side and you miss the layup. If you go at somebody bigger than you, stronger than you, nine times out of 10, you're gonna miss that shot. You're gonna miss that layup. You know, you can't be challenging everybody and anybody on the court. So I actually like that there's legit contact in this game. You'll see it in this gameplay, you know, but is everything straight? Not at all. No game is perfect. You saw right there, I kind of got a block and the opponent, he should have got right back up, but sometimes they still linger around. And you know, I never really liked that. You know, once you get a block, you don't linger around, talk trash, you go for the ball, right? But at the same time, on 2K14, there were too many blocks. On 2K15, you don't see a lot of blocks and the blocks you do see, they're legitimate. They really fixed all of the problems from 2K14 or most of them anyways. And that's why I'm really having a hard time putting down NBA 2K15 right now. It's just really a lot of fun because it forces you to play some basketball. All that running around the court, hoping for the dunk, hoping for the three point shot. It's not really going to work because like I said before, it's too much contact in the paint to be trying to dunk on everybody. And they do have missed dunk animations. So you want to watch out for that And the three point shot. Man, say, let me tell you about the shooting on NBA 2K15. 
when I first saw this meter, I was like, eh, it's just a meter. It's not going to matter that much. But this meter is way more difficult than I thought it would be. You know what I'm saying? Like, I missed some wide open shots, which I like. I like missing wide open shots because in the NBA, you don't make every shot. So you're going to miss some wide open shots. But once you get the timing down, you're going to be straight. And I like that because it sets forth a skill gap. And that's what I really like in sports games. I like games that really separate the good from the bad. And of course, I'm not saying I'm the best. I'm not saying I'm good at 2K, but I always like a skill gap. So let me say this. Is NBA 2K15 gameplay perfect? Of course not, no game is perfect. Is NBA 2K15's gameplay better than 2K14's gameplay? Easily, for me, it's like night and day. Is 2K15 the best basketball game that 2K has ever made? I mean, it just might be, in my honest opinion. How at you all later, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And let me go ahead and say this, because you know, some people are new to my channel, some people been around for a while. If you're new, just know that I'm not biased. I play live, I play 2K. I judge live, I judge 2K. I just call it like I see it. How at you all later, peace.